Alright, in this video I just want to start looking at some examples of just simplifying trig functions involving uh, fractions. So nothing too crazy here. So uh, maybe we can do at least one or two. So uh, in part A we've got sine times secant times tangent. A lot of times what I will do, um, you know, there's really not much going on here. There's nothing to add or subtract. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine and see what, if anything, I can cancel out. So I'll leave the sine x alone. Secant of x, that's the same thing as 1 over cosine of x. Well, tangent of x, that's sine x over cosine x. Well, um, I think you'll notice in the top, you can really put sine x over 1. So really in the numerator we have sine x over cosine x. And again that's simply d being divided by sine x over cosine x. Well you have sine you have sine divided by cosine over sine divided by cosine or equivalently we have tangent of x over tangent of x. However you want to look at it or you know last but not least you could even think about it just in terms of fractions. Uh, we've got a fraction divided by a fraction, flip the denominator and make it into multiplication. And again, basically everything's just going to cancel out. Um, we still have, you know, you can think about there as being ones in the numerator. So this first expression is simply going sim to, is just going to uh, just reduce down to the number one. So sine times secant over tangent is just another way of writing one. Um, let's look at part B. We've got cosecant times cotangent uh, divided by tangent times secant. So I think I'm going to do the same thing in this example. Um, let's see, so cosecant, that's going to be 1 over sine theta. Cotangent is cosine theta over sine theta. Let's see, tangent of theta, that's going to give us sine theta over cosine theta. And then secant of theta is going to be 1 over cosine of theta. Okay, so let's try to uh, clean all this stuff up here a little bit. So again, you know, a couple different uh, sort of ways you can regroup things. We, we really have cosine of theta on top. Um, we have sine squared in the denominator of the numerator. And then in the denominator we have sine of theta over cosine squared of theta. And what I'm going to do now is just simply take this fraction, these two fractions, and we can multiply. So I'm going to take so, uh, cosine over sine squared, and I'm going to multiply that by the reciprocal of the denominator. So uh, we're just going to flip the, the bottom fraction, so we'll get cosine squared theta over sine of theta. Well, cosine times cosine squared is going to be cosine cubed of theta over sine cubed of theta. But again, we could really just factor out the, uh, the exponent. We could write this as cosine over sine all cubed. And remember, cosine over sine, that's simply cotangent. So really, we have cotangent of theta cubed. Or again, we can re rewrite that as cotangent cubed theta.